Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a good weekend with your families. This week, I'm going to make some new videos for you with a lot of new books that we've never read before. Most of the books are about taking trips or coming from different places. And since we're all stuck in our houses right now, I thought it'd be interesting for us to think about how we can take some trips with our imaginations. Some of these books are gonna be a little bit longer, so you can always stop the video if you need to take a break. I've also found some really cool activities that you can do in your houses with your families this week. Um, you don't have to do any of these activities. They're just something fun that I feel like you might enjoy, and they might be something that you like doing with your families. So today's book is called Bailey Goes Camping, and it's by our friend Kevin Henkes. And in this book, Bailey's big brother and sister are going on a camping trip, but Bailey's too little to go. So he thinks of some ways, well, I'm not going to tell you what he does yet. We're going to figure out how he solves his problem. Bruce and Betty were bunny scouts. They were going camping. Bunny had to stay home. His name is not Bunny. His name is Bailey. Let me read that again. Bruce and Betty were bunny scouts. They were going camping. Bailey had to stay home. I want to go camping, said Bailey. You're too little, said Bruce. But in a few years you can, said Betty. Don't feel bad, Bailey, said Bruce. It's not that great. All we do is eat hot dogs and live in a tent and go swimming and fishing and hunt for bears and tell ghost stories and fall asleep under the stars. And don't forget roasting marshmallows, said Betty. That's best of all. It sounds like they're going to have a lot of fun, but Bailey can't go. Tell somebody who's with you or just tell me if you're by yourself. What is Bailey's problem in this story? How is he feeling? Bailey watched Bruce and Betty leave. It's not fair, he said. Come on, said Papa. Let's play baseball. No, said Bailey. Want to help me bake cookies, said Mama. No, said Bailey. We could read a book, said Papa. No, said Bailey. I want to go camping. You're too little, said Papa. But in a few years you can said Mama. Sounds like how a lot of us are feeling. We can't do anything. We just have to stay in the house. Don't feel bad, Bailey, said Papa. It's not that great. Oh, yes, it is, said Bailey. You get to eat hot dogs and live in a tent and go swimming and fishing and hunt for bears and tell ghost stories and fall asleep under the stars. And best of all, you roast marshmallows. You know, said Mama, you can do all those things right here. I can, said Bailey. He can, said Papa. Yes, said Mama, smiling. Hmm, how do you think Mama and Papa Bunny are going to solve Bailey's problem? That afternoon, Bailey ate hot dogs and lived in a tent. He went swimming and fishing. That night, Bailey went on a bear hunt and told ghost stories. And best of all, he roasted marshmallows. Before falling asleep under the stars. So a lot of us right now feel like we wish we could go places and have field trips. But think about some of the things that you could do in your house 
to pretend that you're doing those things and imagine that you're somewhere else. I'm going to send you two things today. So like always, if you look underneath the video, you'll see some writing and you'll see some links. There's two links today. The first one will be to take you on a field trip of all the national parks. There's some amazing videos and it'll take you there right away when you click the link where you can see some beautiful outside parks and imagine that you could go camping there. The second thing you're going to need if you're going camping, it might be cold. So you're going to need a hat to protect you. And this is something you can make at home. This is my fantastic hat. So the second link I'm going to send you will show you how to make a hat just like this. And you can use newspaper or old wrapping paper or anything you have lying around the house. Um, if you make one, send me a picture of you wearing your hat. All right, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.